this video and hundreds more like it available on free Photoshop video tutorials.com. Okay, now we're going to learn how to cast a shadow, and this can be done in any photo to any object or any person in a photo, and we're going to have a look how that is done. So here we have a picture of a uh, little girl with her uh, mom, let's suppose, and we can see that there's a very faint shadow already happening in the photo, but what if I actually wanted to accentuate that shadow and just make it more obvious? Well, first thing we want to do is uh, duplicate this layer, and now we're going to use something that we've learned in another tutorial, which was using the extraction tool. So we're going to go to filter and extract, make sure we are on our um, copied layer here, so filter and extract. And now we're just going to quickly go over um, the little girl here. So we're just going to be trying to select uh, in green here um, the areas that are the girl and the areas uh, that are is the um, sand. So it's just going in between, selecting the hair and so forth, just uh, making an outline around them all. So we'll just do this quickly. Now that we have that all done, we're just going to click with the bucket tool here to uh, fill in this with blue. So we'll click OK. And what that'll do is it just uh, extracted the uh, the girl and the mom here from, from the picture. It doesn't have to be too perfect because what we're going to do here is uh, control and click on the layer. So you're just going to looking for that little hand icon to just change to have a little hand with a box. So we're making the selection here. We're going to create another layer, just uh, create it in between the background layer and the background copy here with just the, the girl and the mom. And we're going to fill that in with black. So make sure we have black in our foreground and do alt and backspace. So let's deselect. We've made a selection here that is black. And uh, what we're going to do, that's going to be a shadow. So we're going to do um, transform and distort. Now what we want to do is just use the cue here that we already had of this shadow here, this very light shadow. We're going to, obviously shadows, um, you know, being cast by the sun, they're, they usually start getting progressively bigger as you get away from the person. And uh, you also want to make sure that you're at the right the, the shadow is being cast over here and not over here. So we're just going to move this, just move the shadow around a bit till we roughly align it with the shadow that we can see. So there we are. We have uh, our shadow distorted. And you can play around with this till you find a decent amount of distortion that you like. Let's uh, click on Enter. And then we're going to add some Gaussian Blur. So we're going to go Blur, Gaussian Blur. Add a sufficient amount of blur, let's say something for this image here, something about uh, 8 pixels will do. So we have our um, shadow. We're going to change the opacity here to something less uh, you know, opaque here, so opacity of let's say 44%, that's a pretty decent shadow. And now for the final touch, we're just going to add a layer mask. And with um, making sure that our gradient tool is on the first box here, making sure we have on black on white. We're going to um, select at the base here of her foot and with shift selected, just making sure that we're drawing a straight line, draw up to about her face. So we're just making a little bit lighter here, the shadow, and getting it darker as it goes behind them. So you resolve the problems that you had of the feet and of the hands here, and it just looks like you've had a shadow created. So let's uh, remove the shadow here, and as you can see, we've just added more shadow to a photo very easily. If you enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing, rating, and adding it to favorites. Leave comments on our website and we'll create even more videos that interest you.